In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to use Reason in Logic. We'll be using Reason 4 inside of Logic Pro 9. You first want to open an empty project in Logic Pro 9. Do not open Reason because it won't rewire properly with Logic if you open it first. Open an empty project and go to external MIDI. Create the track and you will see in the library section Reason is available. If you click on it there won't be any instruments available. That's because we do not have Reason open. Open Reason and open up a blank track. Inside of the blank track, of course, you have your mixer. If you want to create a new instrument, go ahead and create an instrument. But always remember with Reason that you have to create the instrument beneath the mixer. So click on the mixer and you'll see it highlighted. Create an instrument. Let's use Dr. Rex. Let's create another instrument. Let's use the NNXT. And if you look on the side, you will see that these instruments are now available inside of Reason. Also with Reason, you want to make sure that your external instrument is connected. We can find that through preferences. So I usually go into edit, find, and I'll play the MIDI instrument and it'll find it. Select choose. All right, and let's close out of here. Let's play the NNXT. And as you see, there's signal coming in to Reason, and there's also signal coming in to Logic. However, there is no sound. What you'll need to do to create the sound, go into either the mixer or the inspector window inside of Logic, and you want to create a new auxiliary channel strip. We want to set it to stereo and we'll want to set the input in Reason to left and right. And of course the output is going through the output of Logic. And we'll create this track, this auxiliary track, and now we'll have the audio. And you can record the MIDI data inside of Logic. Let's put the click track on. So you'll want to try and record and see if it records MIDI data. And as you see, it is recording the MIDI data. One thing you'll want to make sure is that the rewire is set to live mode. The way to check that is to go into preferences, go into audio, and look down to rewire behavior. Make sure that rewire behavior is set to live mode. In live mode, you will not have the latency that you will have in playback mode. That's how you rewire reason into logic.